Hello all, Narnicle here, with a fresh breeze blowing through my head. Uh, um, uh, over my skull. That's because in this video we learn how to sail Valheim. The world of Valheim is huge and is separated by several oceans. The only way to move around the world and make progress in the game is to sail. Only then you will gain access to better materials and other bosses. But how to sail Valheim? Very simple. In the game you have access to no less than three different boats. You can do a raft early in the game. You only need 20 wood for this, which you collect by cutting down trees, among other things. Collect 6 leather scraps by killing boars and collect 10 resin. You also sometimes receive resin by cutting down trees, but I find it easiest to collect by finishing graylings. With these 3 ingredients you can already launch a raft. Please know that a raft does not go faster than 9 km per hour and only amounts to a HP of 300. So avoid shallow rocks that scrape these health points off your raft all too quickly. Do you want a boat that can take a bit more of a beating? Or even better, that can transport minerals? Then go for a carve. Many minerals cannot be teleported through a portal. Transport by boat is your only option. With 4 storage slots, the carve is an ideal way to transport materials from one island to another. Carves are made using 30 fine wood, 10 deer hide, 20 resin, and no less than 80 bronze nails. You can obtain the fine wood by chopping down birch trees. Note that you need a bronze axe for this, so defeat Ike there first. Deer hide is collected simply by hunting deer, and I just explained how to get resin. Bronze nails are obtained by using a bronze bar on a forge. However, this will give you 20 nails, so you only need 4 bronze bars. Bronze bars are obtained by melting copper and tin and then combining the bars in a forge. With these materials you will quickly become the proud owner of a carve. A carve reaches top speeds of 17 km per hour and has an HP of 500. Do you really want to impress your fellow countrymen? Then build a longship. A longship has 1000 HP and reaches a top speed of 25 km per hour with a tailwind. Here, however, you will have to enter the swamp because a longship requires 100 iron nails to start. Your quest begins in sunken crypts. Here you can mine scrap metal from muddy scrap piles. You then melt this into iron, which can then be used to make 10 iron nails. A quick calculation tells you to get at least 10 scrap. Knock down the old trees in the swamp with your bronze axe while you're here. This will give you old bark and you will need 40 of these to make your longship with. When you are happy to have left the swamp and you are back in the meadows, hunt deer again. You need 10 deer hide for a longship. In the meantime, collect 40 fine wood, after which you can rest from the hard work on the deck of your longboat. No matter what ship you make, they all operate the same. Interact with the rudder at the back of the ship to start sailing. Please know that this is only possible if you do not carry too much weight with you. Tap W once to row forward. Press S to stop row and press S again to row backward. Rowing backwards is very slow, so I only recommend this when it is really necessary. By pressing W twice, you hang up half sail and three times to throw the entire sail down. This helps you to sail faster when you have a tailwind. You can see this by means of the icon under your minimap. Make sure the wind is aimed at the golden part of the circle to move forward and not the black part. You turn your boat by pressing A and D. With the rudder icon on the screen, you can see how sharply you maneuver to the left or right. If you want to center the ship again, hold the opposite button until the yellow area around this rudder icon disappears. This works especially well when you have a headwind. Then lower your sail completely and paddle zigzag to your destination. I've noticed that with a half sail, both speed and steering are smooth. Something that may not go so smoothly is encountering a sea serpent. Make sure to board a carve with at least one fine wooden bow, with or without a friend, to be well prepared for this sea monster. The sea snake is able to sink your raft with one blow. Take out the sea snake quickly with flint head arrows while zigzagging as much as possible to avoid its attacks. An abyssal harpoon works extremely well here as you use it to hoist the sea snake behind your ship so that it becomes an easier target for the arrows of other players. You can also pull him ashore and beat him here for some extra goodies he drops. Sometimes the sea snake flees if you do enough damage to it. It is then best not to chase him and just leave it here. Speaking of leaving it there, I'm going to leave it at this too because this was the end of this video. Did this video get you out into the open waters? Then leave a like and let me know your wildest open sea adventures in the comments below. 
To get a rid friends, I sail across the oceans of Valheim in my live streams three times a week on twitch.tv slash narnicle. So come take a look and follow me where I also answer Valheim related questions in the live chat. Followers are invited to our private server and have a chance to participate in live streams. Do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for many more Valheim tips and tricks and then I will see you again in the next video. Ugh, I'm seasick.